Hi everyone. So today I'm really excited to share with you my Teddy Bee's pre-order haul. I just got this in the mail. Um, this was her fall slash holiday pre-order. Um, this pre-order was on September 2nd. Um, I want to say it was like over the weekend and then she closes it whenever her um, turnaround time limit has been reached. Um, it's about an eight week tat. So from the time you order, it's about eight weeks until you get your order in. Um, and she offered three different kinds of items. So she typically offers the four ounce souffles, the eight ounce wax tubs and the 12 ounce loaves. So I did not get any loaves. I just got the souffles and wax tubs and I got quite a bit right here. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. Um, I, so let me just show the business card first. I'm just getting like way too excited. So this is the business card. She for sure changed it. This looks different than the business card that's come with the orders in the past. And then this is the back if you are interested. And then I got one sample, which I didn't look up. I should have looked this one up ahead of time. I actually don't know what, ooh, what this is. It is called the Bee Charmer. So I'm gonna try to sniff it, say what I think it is, and I'll put the actual scent notes in the video. Um, oh my gosh, I don't even know. I'm gonna try to pop it out. Is there honey in it? Cause it's like the bee charmer. It smells like it might be a floral or like body care kind of a note. I think this will be a good like bathroom melt. So that was my sample in the bee charmer. All right, so let's go on into my order. I kind of want to start with the tubs because this time around she did the tubs a little bit differently. She actually did the tub plus the lid Whereas before it was the tub, no lid in a poly pro bag. I actually really like this. I think it's fun for storage. What I will say is a few of my tubs came cracked. So I'm super glad they actually included poly pro bags that you can put your tub right in if you'd rather store it in the poly pro bag or just an extra airtight seal, even if the lid, you know, wasn't cracked or anything. Um, so I love that. I love that they come with the lids and I'm super happy that they include the extra poly pro bags. Like I said, sometimes during transit, the post office isn't always gentle and things can shift around or crack. So really thankful they included some extra poly pro bags and I counted. I got the exact number of bags that I ordered in the tubs. So the tubs are, like I said, eight ounces and they're $12.80 each. So let's just go on to them because I'm so excited. I think almost everything I ordered is new to me, except a couple things which I'll point out if it's a repeat purchase. The first one I picked up is called Creep Show. This one is pumpkin sugar donuts, marshmallow fireside type, sugar cookies, creamy cheesecake, graham crackers, marshmallow cream, and a hint of sweet spice. And then right at the end there, she includes the pour date as well. So that's what it looks like. And then this is the bottom. I love that she does the glitter. And I think the tubs are so cool because they are clear. So you can just see the glitter at the bottom there. So let me open this. Ooh, this is pretty. See, this one definitely is like more of a fall time blend. Like I said, it was kind of a fall slash holiday pre-order. Ooh, it's pretty. To me, I get mainly pumpkin sugar donuts on cold, but I'm sure some of those other notes will come out more when I actually go to warm it. I've mentioned this before too. I personally like to cure my teddy bees like a little bit longer than um, some vendors in my collection. So honestly, most likely I'll probably hang on to this till next fall time at this point since I'm nearing the end of my fall warming, but yeah, really, really pretty. And I think I will just double bag, regardless if the tubs are cracked or not, I probably will just slip them inside the Poly Pro bag. So let me just do that so I can just show you guys how they fit. Um, and if you are interested, okay, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze with the lid on. Like, it's kinda, hopefully I don't rip the bag. 
Do I have to take off the lid? Let me see. Oh, okay. I just started ripping it a little bit at the corner there. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know. Maybe you have to put these on without the lid. Let me try. Doing that. Or maybe it's like once you chop them. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze, honestly. Like I can't really... These polypro bags might be when you actually chop up the tub and if you don't want to store it in the tub you can just put it in the polypro bag but they don't really seem to fit with the lid on and they I think it would be a very tight squeeze even with the lid off so I'm gonna experiment I have definitely have other polypro bags in my collection so I can always put them in a bigger one this to me if I had to guess maybe a five by five bag so maybe this would fit better in like a six by six anyway um i don't know if i mentioned i was trying to mention it before i got distracted with the poly pro bag but she will have a rts with the overstock pre-order items on november 19th um i believe that's a saturday so just in case you are interested all right let's move on hopefully i don't get distracted anymore okay this one is Fireside Marshmallows, Toasted Marshmallows, Smoldering Woods, and Rich Vanilla Cream. So that's what it looks like. I think, let me just look at my wax list. Yes, this is Marshmallow Fireside Bath and Body Works type dupe. And then here's the back with the pretty glitter. Oh, it's really, really pretty. I can definitely get that, like, I think it's smoldering woods plus some sweet bakery. It's really pretty. I've smelled some, like, I'm definitely getting into the smoky kind of fireside notes. Every once in a while, there's one that's like a little too earthy, burning wood, too smoky. This one is really pretty. I think this is going to be beautiful on like a cold fall or winter evening. Oh, it's really, really pretty. I don't think I'm going to dump any of them out just because you can kind of see the edges. Well, maybe you can't see, but some of the edges are a little like, I just feel like I'd spill wax everywhere, but it's really pretty. I think this one's going to be really beautiful on warm, so really excited about this one and I'm sure this one would do great as like a mix or a blender scent as well. This one is Grown Women. You can see the last part of the name. This is one of my tubs that came a little bit cracked at the corner. I don't know if you can even notice it but like I said I'll probably rebag it a little bit and then that's the bottom. I don't know why I said a little bit. I probably will put it in a polypro bag. Yeah, let me take out that little piece of plastic. Okay. So, yeah, just a little tiny crack on the lid right there in the corner. So beautiful. I love this color. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Palo Santo Orchid Amber and Smoked Vanilla. I've heard a lot of people say, and I agree, because the first pre-order, I think it was the last pre-order, I got a few Palo Santo and like smoky blends. Tiffany does have a really beautiful Palo Santo. I can sometimes be picky, but I will say I'm definitely opening up to Palo Santo blends and liking them a lot more this time around when I go to try them out this year. I would say though, the Orchid Amber Maybe Smoke Vanilla is a little bit stronger than the Palo Santo but maybe it will come out more on warm. These are pretty easy, honestly, to pop out because it's a little bit cold now um, that this pre-order is shipping out. I feel like most of the wax, even in the tub, some of it jiggles around, like it, it's more easy to pop out. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of like separated from the um, tub. I said that, but it's not coming out. Let's see. I just want to pop like one out. I probably won't do it with all of them, but look at how pretty. I think I get like I get floral so I feel like it's the orchid and yeah I just dropped a piece so let me put that back in there there we go push it down oh it's pretty though I don't know something about it reads more floral so maybe like 
tail end of winter, maybe March, like almost going into spring because of the, the orchid in there, but really pretty. I'm glad I picked that one up in a tub. Obviously, the ones I got in tubs, I figured I'd really, really love. So that's why I got them in the bigger size. This one is Snow Queen, Marshmallow Fireside, Warm Vanilla Sugar, and Sugared Spruce. So this one I thought would be a good anytime, basically from now, like November up until probably like January time frame, just because of that Sugared Spruce as well warm and toasty because of the marshmallow fireside there's also like a little bit of a warm slash sensual note because of the warm vanilla sugar and then sugared spruce which to me is making it you know feel maybe a little bit holiday time so let's see that's pretty and i don't know if you can tell but it's just the prettiest like shimmer on the bottom and then almost looks like there's like it almost looks like they painted on like a pearl sheen on the top layer too. I just stuck my nose in it. Hopefully I don't have like glitter on my nose. I think I'm getting the warm vanilla sugar the most. Maybe a little bit of the sugared spruce. Should I try popping this one out too? Let me just do it. I just wanna see if I smell any more on the bottom. Maybe a little sugared spruce, but I think number one is the warm vanilla sugar. Oh yeah, I think there is like a little sheen or pearlescent glitter on the top there. Oh my, yeah, you can, I don't know if you can tell, but you can see my fingerprint now where I just like shoved it back into the tub. That's really pretty. I don't get a whole lot of the marshmallow fireside right now. And sometimes that note when it's blended with other things, I don't pick up as much, but I think this is going to be beautiful. I do love warm vanilla sugar. I think it's a nice like warm like I said, kind of sensual scent for like the winter time. I think it's really pretty. This one is another tub. I don't know if you can tell, but a little bit got cracked at the bottom here on the lid. So just double check your tubs. This one is Witches Be Crazy for Beach Treats. Love her Witches Be Crazy. Love her Beach Treats, which is basically like a beach night's dupe. It's birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla blended with beach treats. So everything besides beach treats is her witches be crazy scent description. Um, it is amazing. I actually just recently warmed some of my chunk bags of witches be crazy. I just love it so much. And she has an amazing beach nights dupe. So I just, I bet this is gonna be an amazing blend. and it's beautiful. I think I smell the beach treats the most, but to me, witches be crazy. It's good on cold, but it's amazing on warm. So I'm sure this blend is going to transform and I bet you'll smell the witches be crazy come alive more when you actually go to warm it. But on cold, it's so pretty. It's like an extra bakery deliciousness beach treats blend. I really like this. I love her beach beach treats scents. I've been really into them. This one is Witches Be Crazy for Cupcakes at Tiffany's. So again, another, another blend with her kind of like pumpkin con waffle bakery. Um, I'll read it again though. So birthday cake pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, a hint of cinnamon spice vanilla blended with crispy toffee, hints of chocolate, sweet sugar, buttercream, and vanilla cake. So the blended with everything after is the Cupcakes at Tiffany's note. So let me just show the label. I love that. I see some really cute like butterfly sequins at the bottom there. This one is one of those that's kind of jiggling around in the tub. I don't know if you can tell it's kind of separated. So maybe I'll try popping this one out. Um, oh, it's so, so good. So this one, I feel like pumpkin pecan waffle and cupcake at Tiffany is a really good blend. I, I feel like I definitely get the cupcakes at Tiffany's, but there's something else in there. It's just like a more bakery cupcakes at Tiffany's, if that makes sense. So I'm sure that like witches be crazy blend is in there for sure. Look at those pretty butterflies. Oh, it's so pretty though. And it's that kind of like Tiffany blue color. I love that. 
it's so pretty. I can't hold her wax too much in my hand because it starts like melting in my hands, but this is beautiful. Again, I'm sure this is gonna be great on its own or great as like a blender if you want to. I feel like I always say that with no like with blends where I'm like, oh, this would be great to blend with other things. I do mix and match scents sometimes, but typically I do just end up warming them by themselves. Um, this I just feel like is gonna be amazing. So yeah, had to pick up a tub. This is my first one that we've come across that is a repeat. And actually the next one is a repeat purchase as well. This is Christmas Trees and Cream. This is my all time favorite Christmas time scent. If I had to only choose one Christmas tree kind of a blend for the holiday time out of any vendor, I love Tiffany's Christmas Trees and Cream. I actually have a few of these in my collection at this point um, because I love it so much. I think it's the perfect blend of pine. So to me, that just kind of, it makes me think of the Christmas tree note plus like decadent bakery goodness. And I feel like when you warm it, it's such a good blend of the two. It's not too overpowering on the, the Christmas tree pine. It's not too overpowering on the bakery where you don't smell like a tree note at all like it's the most beautiful perfect blend and honestly I never want to be without this in my collection that's why I've kind of stocked up on a few of these I want to say I have like at least one souffle and at least one tub already in my collection so now I have another one it's just so pretty and I do smell the pine on cold probably strongest but when you melt this, I just remember smelling so much heavy, like, bakery notes. Like, I really got that waffle waffle cone and buttercream. It was so good and, like, decadent and delicious. Oh, it's so pretty. This is another one. It's just kind of, like, wiggling around in the tub. So let me just pop it out so I can show you the pretty glitter on the bottom. Oh, my gosh. It's just so pretty. I I really love it. Like I said, it's my all-time favorite Christmas holiday scent. I would totally be fine if this was the only holiday scent I had in my collection. The other one that's a repeat purchase I got, probably in like my first round of pre-order I ever ordered from Teddy Bees, was Witches Be Crazy for Blueberries. The funny thing is, I remember thinking it smelled weird on cold. I didn't really like how the blueberries mixed together with the pumpkin pecan waffle, but when I went to warm it, I loved it. So I did want to grab a tub of this birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon spiced vanilla blended with sweet blueberries. And again, it's kind of jiggling around in there. It's the bottom, some pretty glitter. Yeah, it's good. It's a little bit light on cold, which sometimes like I just feel like in general, you can't fully judge wax until you go to warm it because Almost all the time, I'm pleasantly surprised on warm. I can definitely get some slight blueberry and some slight pumpkin pecan waffle. So I just know though, like I have warmed this one before and I remember being like really impressed when I actually went to warm it. So excited for that one. And then my last tub that I picked up is Tiffany, no, Tiff's favorite birthday cake, milk and cookie zucchini bread. Is that what it is? Oh yeah, Tiff's favorite birthday cake plus milk and cookie zucchini bread. So you can kind of see it's like a layered one. And then this one is one more tub that kind of like came a little cracked. I don't know if you can see the, the lid came a little bit cracked. So I'm just gonna put, you know, set it into another polypro bag because the label is on the actual lid. So I don't want to like toss and get rid of that. So this is Tiff's favorite lavender, which I love Tiff's favorite lavender. It's so, so good. I was just seeing if I had that. Um, okay. I don't have the notes of Tiff's favorite lavender, but it's I've had that before, I'm pretty sure. I love Teddy Bee's lavender. If I remember correctly, it's a little bit of an herbal leaning lavender, which is my preferred. Um, blended with white cake and buttercream, layered with our milk and cookies, blended with zucchini bread. So there's kind of a lot going on in this blend, but I... I'm such a fan of lavender and bakery blends. They're like my all-time favorite, so I knew I would love this one. Oh, I 
so pretty i love the lavender i'll pop this one out because obviously it's a layered blend so all i'm smelling at the top is the lavender if i can pop it out it's a little stuck in there so there's what the layers look like how beautiful oh my gosh it's so so good i definitely get that like milk and cookies kind of a blend it's a very creamy milky creamy i just said creamy twice it's a very creamy bakery oh that lavender is amazing i'm definitely gonna have to like chop it up carefully so i can get like you know both layers in a warmer i don't want to like separate them and have just like the lavender in one and the cookies and bakery in the other i want them blended together because i can just tell this is going to be amazing i want to get more of tiffany's lavender because the lavender that i have melted from her i've absolutely loved now we have souffles lots of souffles so yeah let's just dive in because it's a lot so the souffles like i mentioned before are four ounces and they are six dollars and forty cents each i'm only saying the price of the things that i picked up i think she has some fragrances that are a little bit more expensive and those ones the prices are a little bit more but i didn't get any of those um I just can't remember now. I know in the last pre-order she had like three cents that were a little bit more expensive than the others. Um, anyway, let's go into this other. I think this is my last Witches Be Crazy blend. This is Witches Be Crazy for Apple Spice. Birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon spiced vanilla blended with crisp apples, brown sugar, cinnamon with buttered crust background. So that's what it looks like. I just love her souffles. I think they're perfect size, but then the tubs are perfect if you just know you're gonna love a scent. Oh, that's really pretty. That's a beautiful blend. I can definitely pick up like the apple spice, the apple bakery to me. It almost even smells like an apple pie. That's beautiful. That's gonna be really pretty. Like this would be a great like Thanksgiving kind of you know a dessert scent i know usually i have pumpkin pie for thanksgiving but i feel like apple pie is a popular like thanksgiving dessert too and this this is really pretty and it smells warm you get kind of those warm baked apple pie <laughs> spices kind of scent so that is gorgeous perfect size i like it but i don't feel like it's like tub worthy but it is beautiful it's fall, y'all. Marshmallow Fireside, Sweet Cinnamon, Orange Zest, Leaves, Brown Sugar, and Vanilla. So that's interesting. Like, Marshmallow Fireside sounds really, really good. Sweet Cinnamon, Orange Zest, Leaves. That's kind of different. But let's see how it smells because it's like bakery, but it's also kind of like, I don't know, orange and leaves. I'm guessing the leaves is like the Bath and Body Works do. Actually... I'm sorry, I should have taken this one out of the tub. This has a little drizzle on it. I'll take them out now so I can show you the tops, but. Actually, I think I get the marshmallow fireside the most. That's definitely what I'm picking up the most on cold here. I love the glitter. I probably won't pop out the souffles. Maybe I'll just do this one just to see if it looks like anything, but I might not pop them out unless I have any layered ones. Oh, that's so pretty with the glitter. Yeah, that's good. That's warm and cozy to me. I don't really pick up any orange zest and not too much of the leaves. I think it's just, like I said, more of that marshmallow fireside, which is beautiful. I love that. This one is the night before Christmas. For some reason, I feel like I've had this one before but I don't know now. I'll have to go look into my collection, but it just sounds really familiar, but it, it could just be that I've seen this show up in a pre-order in the past. Flannel sheets, warm cashmere, and vanilla blended with the scent of Christmas trees. So another one that will be pretty for the holiday time. Again, I'm undecided if I'm going to actually warm these this holiday time or if I'm going to hang on to them. I'm not sure. I know I have some things in my collection from last year that I'm making a point to warm now. Um, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try a few. So pretty. 
I definitely get the flannel sheets. It almost, it almost comes across as a laundry blend, but with that warm cashmere and the Christmas tree, it, I can pick that up too, but I definitely strongest note, I feel like it's the flannel sheets. Like it kind of smells like you're doing a load of laundry on Christmas morning. It's warm and cozy. It smells like laundry fresh out of the dryer, like it's a warm laundry. There's really pretty light snow that's falling outside right now. Yeah, I I get the warm laundry scent way stronger than I do with the Christmas tree, but that's why I'm saying like it just kind of reminds me, it, it just feels like you're doing laundry on Christmas morning where it's like you get a little bit of the hint of tree, but like not very much. It's more the laundry, like you're in your laundry room changing out the loads. Um, really pretty though. This one is Toil and Trouble, Pumpkin Spice Latte, Apple Cider Donuts, and Fluffy Marshmallows. So I will most likely hang on to this until next fall time. Um, let's see, I love Pumpkin Spice Latte, Apple Cider Donuts, Marshmallows. Let's see how they blend together. At first I was like, I feel like I get the Pumpkin Spice Latte more, but I get a little hint of apple. Maybe this would be like if you guys have tried the um, apple crisp macchiato or I, th I think that's the name of it at Starbucks. Maybe that's kind of what it would smell like. I, my husband tried that drink. I tried like a sip of it. I didn't really like that drink. I thought apple mixed with coffee was a little bit weird. Scent wise though, it's pretty. Like it's not a really strong apple cider donuts. Like I think I am getting the pumpkin spice latte the strongest but I get the tiniest hint of a little bit of like a sweetness from the apple in the background. So really pretty. I love the purple. This one is a repeat purchase. I remember having this before. This is Winter Farm, Farm. <laughs> it looks like Far Mouse. It's Farm House, um, but she uh, doesn't have the H in there. That is so funny. Um, Okay, far mouse. Okay, sugarcane, rosemary, blue spruce, teakwood, sweet mint, palo santo, and light florals. So last year when I had this, I remember thinking like, okay, I don't know if I like it. I can't tell. But I liked it a lot more when I went to warm it. It was really, really pretty and long lasting. Something about it, if I remember correctly, I feel like kind of reminded me of growing up. Let me smell it really quick. Like it kind of reminds me a little bit. So I grew up with like my mom's always had horses since I was in like middle school. So we would go to the barn, ride horses. Like it does remind me a little bit of like a like a farm. I don't know why, but it's really pretty. Like none of the notes like sweet mint I don't get. Palo Santo, I don't really think I get. Maybe more like the blue spruce teak woods and maybe a little bit of light florals, but it's just like a really, really unique blend. I wouldn't necessarily say like rosemary I get strongly, but it's more like I get a little bit of a slightly, slightly herbal leaning, like cool scent mixed in with the blend. Like it smells just like it gives you a little bit of a chillness when you smell it. I like it. It's just so unique. It's something I feel like just something reminding me of like childhood and visiting like the horse barn. Not saying that it smells bad. It just reminds me of some of the earthy scents in like a horse barn. Maybe it's like the barn doors, like wood barn doors. Maybe it's like the blue spruce and teak wood a little bit. I don't know. I really, really like it. I love the glitter. I love the little snowflake sequin on there. I I like it. It's not something that I need in a huge quantity, which is why I just wanted to pick it up in a souffle size, but it, it's really pretty. It's something that I, I kind of like, like to warm, you know, once in the winter time, and it just gives me kind of some nostalgic feelings, but then I'm like probably good for the year. Um, all right. 
We have lavender bonfires, sweet lavender, cashmere bonfires, toasted marshmallow, and a hint of vanilla balsam. So again, another kind of wintry, probably wintry evening because of like the lavender kind of calming, relaxing with the vanilla balsam. Sweet lavender. I was just curious if I was going to smell this cashmere bonfires. I actually think I do smell it a little bit once I took it out of the bag. I feel like in the bag, I smelled the lavender, almost a little bit of a powdery lavender. But now I feel like I get a little bit of like the bonfire and toasted marshmallow. I guess I'll try to pop this out. I'm just curious if I smell anything different on the bottom. It's really hard to take these out sometimes though and you kind of end up crushing the souffle tin. It's pretty though. That's what it looks like. I get the lavender. It's funny like it smells a little different than some of her other lavenders though. Like maybe this sweet lavender note is different than other lavenders. Like I said, almost a slight bit like of a powdery leaning lavender. Tiny, tiny bit of maybe a Christmas tree note like with the vanilla balsam, but I feel like only because I'm reading that in here. I don't know if I would have initially pinpointed like a Christmas tree balsam kind of a note had I not read the notes. Just a really pretty creamy lavender. Um, that's beautiful. I think that'll be really good when I actually go to warm it. Let me put that back in the bag. Lavender bonfires. It doesn't smell like smoky bonfire though. Like it. It's more like a powdery with a little bit of like a toasty note in there. This one is I Heart Vanilla Balsam plus Palo Santo. So I think, oh, it says blended. Oh no, it is a layered one. So I'll pop this one out. Creamy Vanilla Marshmallow, Vanilla Milkshake, Marshmallow and Magnolias, which is her Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds dupe, blended with Vanilla Balsam and layered with Palo Santo. So the top layer is like a blended scent and then it's layered with Palo Santo. So pretty. The top layer, I Heart Vanilla Balsam, is beautiful. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. I get a very creamy vanilla balsam, basically, is what the top is, which makes sense. It's very creamy, vanilla heavy, with a little bit of the vanilla balsam. So let's pop it out and see what the Palo Santo smells like. Oh my gosh, I'm dropping. I have to save every last bit of wax because it's so good. Okay, let me try popping this out so we can see what the layer looks like. Let me guess. It's green on top. I'm just gonna guess it's a creamy color on the bottom. Let's see what the Palo Santo looks like. That's just a complete guess. It could be any color, let's see. Ooh, okay, so it's a gray on the bottom. I was just guessing for fun. That is beautiful. It's actually really nice that I'm getting to smell her Palo Santo by itself because I think I've had a lot of Palo Santo blends but not on its own yet from Tiffany. So that is gorgeous. I don't know if you can see the pretty green glitter on the bottom. The green glitter is like perfectly matches the green color on the top. That's beautiful. I would definitely get another scent of, oh, bye Minnie. I would definitely get more of Tiffany's Palo Santo. It's really gorgeous. I like it a lot. Um, beautiful, creamy. I think blended with the I Heart Vanilla Balsam is gonna be so gorgeous on warm. This one is Holiday. The scent of wreaths hanging, cookies baking, winter garland, and warm fireplace. She had a lot of similar scents, like, like basically bakery plus like Christmas tree, some kind of Christmas tree note. Like, you know, this one's wreath hanging or balsam or pine or whatever. So I had to kind of narrow down. You wouldn't think I narrowed down anything because how big my order is, but I did narrow down. And I remember there was two scents. Holiday was one of them. And there was another one that sounded really similar in scent note. And I think I ended up just choosing one over the other. So I believe this is the one, well, this is obviously the one I ended up choosing. I can't remember what the other one is now, but 
I just remember there was like a really similar one to this one. Okay, the first initial scent I got, I almost felt like I smelled like a yogurt note. Okay, I feel like I do get a little bit of the wreaths. See, now it's tricky. I've smelled so many back to back and like, I feel like, you know, even this vanilla balsam one could like kind of be on my fingers. So I hope I'm not like mixing up scents here. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, when I take it out, I definitely can pick up a little bit of like a Christmas tree element, which is probably the wreaths hanging. Winter garland, maybe. I don't know if I like distinctly smell like cookies baking. Maybe it's there. You know what I mean? Maybe on warm, I'll smell a little bit more of a bakery warm note. Fireplace as well. That might be in there. I don't know. I just think it's really beautifully blended. Um, this is pretty. I'm definitely happy that I picked this one up. It's really beautiful. It's just hard to describe. I feel like the scent description is, is accurate. I feel like it's a good mix of maybe like all of those combined and I'll have to see like if anything specifically, you know, smells more distinct on warm. Okay, let's switch it up. Let's Let's let my nose have a break from all the Christmas scents. This one is gingerbread ice cream cake, sweet buttercream layered between warm white cake and vanilla ice cream topped with loads of gingerbread crumbs. That's what this one looks like. Ooh, that is pretty. This kind of gives me her like cinnamon toast vibes. If you guys have smelled that note, from Tiffany, which I love it. It smells so good. I actually warmed that one recently, which is why I'm like, oh my gosh, the minute I smelled this, I kind of felt like I smelled that cinnamon toast one. Let me know what you guys think if you smelled the cinnamon toast and if you have this gingerbread ice cream cake blend. Do you feel like it smells a little bit similar? That's kind of, that's what it smells like to me. And I love that blend. So that one's really good. This one is Cookie Monster. Baked, van baked vanilla macaroons, sweet vanilla cookies, and cupcakes at Tiffany's. That's the reason I got this, honestly, is because of the blend mixed with cupcakes at Tiffany's. Because I really, really love cupcakes at Tiffany's. If it was just alone, baked vanilla macaroons, sweet vanilla cookie, and just other vanilla scents, I probably would have passed on it. I feel like Cupcakes at Tiffany's makes every blend so good. Now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like a Cupcakes at Tiffany's with some kind of Christmas tree note could be a good blend too. This one, I smell the Cupcakes at Tiffany's a little bit. It's not super, super strong. It's definitely a creamy vanilla bakery note, obviously. Um, it's good. Off of like first cold sniff, imp sniff impressions, it's nothing like too outstanding, but we will see once I go to warm it because a lot of time bakery does much better on warm than it does on like cold sniff. We have milk, cookies, and beach treats, lavender marshmallows. Our milk and cookies blended with marshmallow, sorry, blended with lavender marshmallow type. So I thought this would be beautiful only because I love lavender. Yep, it's beautiful. I love it. I love beach treats too, but I most definitely smell the lavender marshmallow. It just smells like a very creamy lavender. On cold sniff right now, I do not get any beach treats. I'm sure the milk and cookies just is what's kind of making it a creamy lavender marshmallow blend. And it says blended. So this this shouldn't be a layered one. I can pop it out just to see, but I don't think it's layered or anything. Come out, souffle. Oh, okay, there's the beach treats. I didn't think it was going to be layered because it just says blended. Let me look on my... Oh, yeah, it is layered. It says it right on the her scentless description. Okay, well, I'm glad I popped it out. Yep. Yep. There we go. The beach treats is definitely on the bottom and the marshmallow, the lavender marshmallow is definitely on the top there. So I am super glad I popped it out. I feel dumb now. 
Usually I swear she says layered in like the scent description on here. That's the only reason I was like, no, I think it's just a blended. It's all blended up in one, but I am super glad that I popped it out because yeah, it is beautiful. And I love that I can get that beach treats because that is beautiful. Let's go back to a Christmas scent. This is Morning Cup of Christmas. Vanilla chai, cranberry chutney, apple marmalade, hint of fresh pine. So this is interesting. I feel like because of all those fruity notes, it might come off as sort of like a potpourri kind of a blend. I feel like fruity plus Christmas tree gives me potpourri usually. That's really good. And yes, for some reason, like when I get these like Christmas fruity notes and these Christmas tree notes, it smells like potpourri. It's to me stronger on the fruity notes though. Hi, Minnie. Yep. Minnie's over there. Come on, Minnie. Come on, Minnie. She just shook if you heard her shaking. Come on, Minnie. I don't know if she, you can see her down there. Let's sit by me. Um, so yeah, I think it's the cranberry that I'm getting the most. It's really, really pretty, sweet. Oh, that's really gorgeous. So. I'm excited about that. All right. Sorry if I'm like repeating myself and saying pretty and excited so much. Okay. Now we're bouncing back to fall. This one's pumpkin season. Rich cake infused with pumpkin spice, creamy vanilla coffee, oat, oat milk creamer, brown sugar, and Palo Santo. So this one kind of intrigued me. I feel like if the Palo Santo wasn't in there, I maybe would have passed on it. So let's smell it. Sometimes it's like, it's funny, right? When you like order pre-order. So I ordered this early September and I'm getting this in now mid-November. So it's kind of like fun to see everything I ordered. And it's crazy because early September, I probably would have like been like, oh yeah, I'm going to add in a few fall scents. But now that it's here, it's kind of like we're wrapping up fall melting. <laughs> I smell, to me, it smells like a pumpkin spice latte. I get like a little bit of like a spiced coffee. I do not smell Palo Santo on cold right now. Um, it's not layered, but let's just pop it out for fun. I just am popping out once every now and again. Little, little bit of glitter on the bottom. Yeah, definitely just kind of smells like a pumpkin spice latte to me. Um, all right, let's do this one. Cozy Cookie Cake Plus Balsam. If you got this one and you feel like you, you know, are missing a blend or something, just double check like Facebook. So Tiffany actually mentioned that this one she renamed. So I actually took a screenshot. I'll include it in my video. She said she changed Santa's birthday cake to this. So if you ordered Santa's birthday cake, but you got this and you feel like you got the wrong blend, you didn't. She just renamed it. Um, she said it seemed more fitting and because it could be enjoyed like all year round and having it be called like Santa's birthday cake, maybe it just sounds more like Christmassy, you know? So um, this is vanilla balsam, balsam Fraser fur blended with our cozy cookie cake, which cozy cookie cake is warm iced white cake, beach treats, marshmallow fireside, and signature sugar cookies. So this sounds really good. It almost sounds like it'll be maybe on par with my Christmas trees and cream because I love the Christmas tree note mixed with the heavy bakery. And this has two kind of Christmassy tree notes with the vanilla balsam and Fraser fir, plus a whole bunch of bakery, plus a little bit of beach treats. So let's see what this smells like. I wish I got a tub of this. I am not planning on going in on the, on the RTS. If you guys have seen the past couple of videos of mine, I'm on like a strict no buy right now. But oh my goodness, if I was not on a no buy, this would be going into my cart on the RTS in tubs. If you like Christmas trees and cream, I think you would love this one. So good. Like I literally get a mix of all the notes. Like I get bakery, I get beach treats and I get the Christmas tree note. This is gorgeous. Like, I'm really mad at myself for not getting it in a tub because I love this one. Oh, 
so good. But I'm lucky I at least got it in a little souffle. That'll, uh, that'll definitely be enough for me for this year at least. This one is Sweet Spot. Butter, butterscotch, warm snickerdoodle cookies, pecan waffles, and vanilla cream. I was actually really curious about the butterscotch note in here. I think like, I think this was one that was like, I could take it or leave it. I guess I must have ended up putting it in my cart just to smell it, the butterscotch. So let's see. Oh, wow. If you like butterscotch, it's definitely like the, the dominant note in here. Okay, that makes me excited because the other notes like snickerdoodle cookie, pecan waffles, vanilla cream, I have a lot of notes similar to that. The butterscotch is really, really strong in here. So if you like butterscotch, you'll like this one. If you were hoping butterscotch wasn't the strong note in here, you might not like it because I feel like it's really strong on butterscotch. It's good. It's almost like a caramely syrup kind of a scent to me. Ooh, okay. I'm glad I got it. Two more. So thank you for sticking around if you're still watching the video because I'm sure this is going to be a long one. This one is the North. Vanilla balsam type, Palo Santo, marshmallow fireside type, and a hint of smoldering firewood. So that's what this looks like. And it's a brown wax. The only note I'm a little scared of is the smoldering firewood, but it does say just a hint. This is gorgeous. This smells like you're in like a cabin and you're like snowed in for the night so you're like let's just make the best of it let's make a um bonfire outside and you know toast some marshmallows and just have like a cozy christmas winter night i like this one a lot and like you're in the woods like you smell the trees the earthiness this is really good this is perfect because I'm, you know, I can be picky. I don't like too earthy, too woodsy, too smoky. It's like the perfect blend. It's not too heavy on any of these, you know, tree notes, smoldering fire. Like it's really a good blend. There's the bottom. This just smells like Christmas. Like it smells like Christmas Eve, like... I don't know because the tree note's pretty strong there it just it smells like the holidays i don't know i really like it it's so good last one i have is warm and toasty this is toasty pumpkins a dash of spice warm embers toasted marshmallow and a hint of mahogany vanilla so that is what this one looks like This is really beautiful. At first I was kind of thinking like, okay, is this back into kind of a fall scent with the toasted pumpkins? It's actually really sweet. Um, I don't know if like the ma mahogany vanilla, dash of spice. I smell baking spices, but it's not spicy. It's like a sweet spice. Like it smells, um, it smells really sweet. I don't know if it's like the marshmallows too. Again, almost like a little bit of like a sweet syrupy uh, note. Like, you know those syrups you like pump into your coffee? Like it almost smells like it would be like that kind of a scent. Like a pump of, you know, vanilla marshmallow or... It's good. It's it's It flip-flops in my nose. Like whether I'm like, is it more bakery leaning? Is it like body care, sensual kind of leaning? It's really pretty. Um, and I feel like you could go either way. Like it, like I said, it could be kind of more bakery leaning, but it also feels like it could be like a pretty, you know, body wash kind of a scent too. So overall, I'm like very happy. I'm never disappointed with my Teddy Bees orders. They are like, Teddy Bees is honestly one of my favorites when it comes to like different blends. If you guys are interested in any of these scents, keep a lookout on the Teddy Bee's Facebook page or on her website because I think she updates that as well on like the scent list. Um, like I said, as of now, it's as you know, the RTS should be on the 19th of November. Um, good luck to you guys if you plan on going in because it can be a little crazy. My advice 
I'm not going in so you're not competing with me or anything but my advice is just make your list ahead of time and stick to it no browsing like if there are scents you know you want order them and check out and then you can go back and maybe browse if you want but if you browse you will lose scents so just to let you know and one of the most annoying things ever is you browse you try to check out you lose a scent so it brings you back to the main page you try to check out you lose more scents so it's just better to just be safe load up your cart quickly and check out and then you can go back so anyway, good luck if you guys plan to order. Let me know if you got anything from the pre-order and what you think of the blends. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!